So we are going to start with four envelopes. You can do a variation if you wanted to do three or five. It's totally up to you. So I made these envelopes using my envelope punch. If you do want to see a tutorial on how to do that, I will link a video above for you guys. These measure five and three quarters by seven and a half inches. You can use store-bought envelopes too and that would make this process really, really easy. So we are going to start off by scoring a gusset line on all of these envelopes and that is going to allow us to have room to fill these up with goodies. Now I don't have a scoreboard but I'm going to use this right here um, on my envelope punch and if you don't have an envelope punch or a scoreboard, all you need to do is Take your envelope and you're going to mark where a quarter of an inch is at the end of the flap here, you can kind of see that, and then down here, and then you will just fold along that line. I am going to use my little um, envelope punch score here and you're going to repeat this to all four envelopes. See there that I have my envelope folded and scored, or maybe the other way around, scored and folded, and I have all of them done. Now, mine are not perfect, and without a scoreboard, it's kind of hard to get a perfect score line, but it's not a big deal, because we are going to be decorating these, and as long as you have, you know, some room for your goodies, you're good to go. So don't spend five hours on scoring like I almost just did. So now we are going to line these up, and it's going to basically go the base of the envelope to the flap. You're going to adhere the base of the envelope onto the next flap, and so on and so forth. Just make sure to only put the tape right above your score lines. So I'm just going to adhere the first section, and again, make sure it's right above that score line. Okay, and just continue. Continue on. Then you can kind of see what we got going on here, and it's just gonna fold in like that, like that. And this is going to be the cover. I'm actually going to cut mine straight across for the flap, but... Okay, so here I am just showing you a couple die cuts that I have that I used my Silhouette Cameo for. And I am just using some Delusions paint here to spray paint those so to add a little bit more color. So here is the flip book, all matted, um, just using different scrapbooking paper that I thought went well together. And I covered a few of the pages completely and I will be adding pockets to the rest. So here's the little ice cream cart that I am adding to the very first page that you flip open. And again, this was also from my Silhouette Cameo. And then here are all of the little donut embellishments that I'm going to be adding in. And I do have a tutorial for all of those. I'll link it right here for you guys, for you guys, if you are interested. And so now I have this part sped up for you guys because it did take me quite a while to decorate. So you can kind of just follow along here. I did have kind of a plan how I wanted to decorate everything and I actually kind of wrote it down on a piece of paper there that you can see above. So I had my little house plans there. And it really helped me out actually because a lot of times I kind of just wing it and don't really know what I am doing and it takes forever. So this was actually a little bit quicker. So I totally recommend kind of mapping out a plan. And yeah, so I'm just using some little clips to put those donuts up there and the idea behind this was I kind of wanted to do a little build your own um, donut type flip book <laughs> although I had more than donuts and I actually got that idea from another tutorial which I can't think of right now but I will link her video below she just had donuts in her flip book and so I wanted to make mine a little bit different so that's why I added all the other sweet treats but um, her flip book was super cute and I don't know why I can't think of it right now but I will have it I'll have her video linked right here for you guys so I'm just adding some little pockets here just super simple just folding paper over and taping the edges and then the sequins that I'm adding are going to be acting as kind of the sprinkles for the donut And I was kind of trying to show you the little start sequins that I had that are really cute, but I went too fast, you couldn't see it. 
So there I was just punching some teeny little holes for kind of a different sprinkle. Just kind of rearranging things until I have it how I like it. And then here are some tags that I made and I left most of them pretty blank so that the recipient can make her own tags using the donut or sweet treat embellishments. And so that last page right there is kind of a DIY page for her. So I'll have the blank tags there and you can see I have a finished tag so she can kind of see what I was going for and she can decorate hers however she wants or she can use those tags for anything really. And so that was a little shaker that I made and I'm writing my letter which I'm going to be putting under this little flap here. I have some washi tape samples. Now for this flip book, I did not stuff it with a ton of goodies. I'm trying to kind of focus more on the flip book rather than stuffing it full of stuff. And I really like how it turns out that way. So I'm just adding some stickers and using a little uh, clip to hold those and taping that on. And sorry that my camera keeps going out of focus when I'm moving around a ton. It's just bound to happen. So I'm just adding some finishing touches. And so I was done decorating, but you're going to see in the final um, shots that I did end up adding some stuff and I usually do that. Like I will be done with it, kind of walk away from it. And then when I go to check it the next day, I don't know, I usually have some extra ideas and I didn't show um, decorating the cover, but you can see here, I kept it pretty simple and I did sew on that little heart button, which I thought was really cute. Added a little tassel that I made and then I just added some Velcro to shut it. And I really liked how it turned out. I hope that you guys get some inspiration from this. And sorry if you just heard my dog hacking up a hairball, apparently. But let me know if you guys have any requests. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.